and you're live. Hey guys, welcome back to my book review and today I'm going to be reviewing the book Conceal Don't Feel. It is inspired by the movie Frozen. Question 1. What is your favorite part of the book? State what it is and explain why. My favorite part of the book is whenever Anna and Elsa are finally together again after Anna is frozen. Good answer. Good answer. <sighs> what is your favorite part of the book? State why and explain why. Okay. My favorite part of the book. Great book. My favorite part of the book was when the dragon Dad, was trying I'm to... sorry! What? Wrong book! Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, t time, time. Take, take, we'll do another take. And what is your favorite part of this book? Um, page 185. When Kristoff is, first meets Olaf and they're going about things and he's just totally fascinated by a talking snowman. Okay, good answer. Question two. Wh question two. What is your fa least favorite part of the book and why? page 313 because it's the end of the book and there's no more story that's why I didn't like that part of the book what was your least favorite part of the book and why my least favorite part of the book was when Anna froze because that's whenever Hans betrayed everyone including Elsa good answer Question three. Who is your favorite character and why? I have two favorite characters, Anna and Elsa. The reason is because I really like how the story portrays them is compared to the original Frozen where they know they're sisters, but in this book they don't know they are. So I really like the relationship even though they don't remember each other. Good answer. Question three, who is your favorite character and why? My favorite character in this book is Hans. He's a stand-up guy. He's the true hero of the story. No, he's not. He's not? No. Did you even read the book? Oh, wait, wait, I did. Um, crud, wrong person. Wrong person. I was thinking Hans was the little guy made of rocks. That's Grandpappy. Grandpappy, because he knows what's going on, and his guidance saves the story. Wrong character. My bad. We can edit that out later, huh? Um, sir. Okay. Question four. Dun, 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 dun. Final question. Do you recommend this book, and why? In all seriousness, yes, I would recommend the book, especially if you're a Frozen fan. If you are not a fan of Frozen... It's not a bad read. Um, light read, easy read, tear through it in a short period of time. Uh, good like between heavy duty books, so it doesn't hurt your brain. Do you recommend this book? I do. I recommend it because I like I personally like Frozen, and even if you're not a huge fan of Frozen, because you don't like all of the things that happen, it changes it up so it's not the same old story that you've probably seen a hundred times. It's it's pretty different, so I recommend it. And you're live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of these videos. I enjoy doing them. Dad, would you like, do you like doing them? Yes, I do. Would you definitely be do some more? Sure. Yeah, we'll do some more of these. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Bye. A clockwork orange next. What? Bam. Hey guys, welcome back to... Um, <laughs> Let's keep going. Start over. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm doing a book review with my dad of the book Conceal, Don't Feel, and it is inspired by the movie Frozen. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm doing a book review of, with my dad, with the, this book called Don't Feel, 
Conceal Don't Feel, and it is a Disney um, inspired book by the movie Frozen. Let's get started. Question three, what is your 